afternoon, good evening. I'm Brittany Ta, the Communications Director for the City of Oak Park. Uh, thank you for coming. If we can get everybody to kind of gather in this general region so we can go ahead and get started, get underway here, that would be great. We're going to kick it off with our City Manager, Eric Tungate. Oh, calm down everyone, calm down. Whoa. <laughs> well, okay, wow, this is quite quite a celebration here. So I, I wanna just say a couple of, of words. And first and foremost, um, how awesome is this on the side of our library? And the truth of, of the matter is that to arrive at this amazing mural today has taken quite some time. Um, now, Mayor will probably speak to this in a moment as well, but let me say this. Twelve years ago, when I became the city manager, we did not allow murals in the city of Oak Park. It was a very controversial thing. And then when we took the first baby step and allowed any murals at all, it was that they had to be woodland creature themed murals. Help me to find what that actually is. I don't know. Um, so we've gone, and then the mural on Lincoln Drugs became a bit of a controversy. And so now we are at the point, um, and I'm very proud to say, where this kind of artwork on the side of our library, um, thanks to our library director, Kimberly Schaff, and the library board, and of course our artist, Desiree, wonderful work. Um, is really a testament to how the city of Oak Park starts with an idea and moves that idea all the way to fruition. And I think, you know, the mayor asked me this the other day and I say this all the time. She always asks me, how are we successful? We're successful because we're relentless. When we have an idea and we have a vision, we take it from point A to point B relentlessly. We never give up. And this right here is a testament to that and let's hope that there are many more of these to come. And as you know, we have a brand new public facility being built in the space right here. We also have our brand new community center and we'll have a lot more opportunities to do this throughout the city. So I'm very excited about what the future holds and I hope, Desiree, thank you so much, but I hope that more artists will see us as an opportunity um, to do these kinds of things going forward. Thank you very much. And am I introducing Kimberly? Kimberly Schaff, get on up here. lower this a little bit. Thank you everybody for coming today. My name is Kimberly Schaff. I'm the library director. Uh, libraries by Nature are a collaborative community effort and it was in that spirit that the City Council created a temporary uh, library mural ad hoc committee which was comprised of three residents from the Arts, Cultural and Diversity Committee and three residents from the library board, City Council members, and City staff members. And at this time, I'd like to acknowledge the six residents and city council members who volunteered for this project. From the Arts, Cultural, and Diversity Committee, we had Don Henry. Don, are you here? Thank you. Ter we had Terry McQueen. Terry, are you here? <laughs> we'll clap anyway. Michelle Stevenson, are you thank you. From the library board, we had Ken Sherman. Ken, thank you. We had Hillary Cash. Thank you, Hillary. And we had Leslie Ritchie. Thank you, Leslie. In addition, we had city council members, uh, council member Sean Whitehead and Mayor McClellan contribute to the process. There were 30 submissions for this project, and each member of this committee volunteered to attend meetings and review those submissions according to a very extensive rubric. It was quite technical and time consuming, and your willingness to contribute to our community is wonderful. Thank you. Out of that process, Desiree Kelly was the person who scored the highest and therefore was chosen for this amazing project. Desiree is an Oak Park native and clearly has an eye for capturing what makes Oak Park such a special place. Desiree studied graphic design at Wayne State University and is known for her portrait murals and distinctive style. 
She was the first visual artist in history to be named by Crane's Detroit Business as a 20 in their 20s honoree, which highlights outstanding young leaders in business. Desiree's other works can be seen in a variety of places, including the Coleman A. Young Municipal Building, Eastern Market, and Elder Theater in Detroit. She's been commissioned by the Ellen DeGeneres Show, Pandora Jewelry, Detroit Pistons, Meyer, Converse, Jack Daniels, Kroger, City of Royal Oak, Beaumont Health, Carhartt, Foot Locker, Puma, and many more. Mayor McClellan is up next. I was going to be real cute, but it's too cold. Um, so why murals in public places? There was a book called Bowling Alone that talked about how where we used to bowl on teams, now we're bowling alone. And in a lot of other places, church memberships are declining, uh, club members are aging, and anytime you read the news, it screams about how we've become divided. The solution is to bring us together as a community so that we can talk and chat and be together. Murals make buildings more attractive and inviting. They inspire community engagement, like what do you think that means and what do you like about this mural and memories are shared because I went to Oak Park High School and there's there's the logo right there. Murals express the culture and values of community. They preserve history and traditions. They connect us with the place we live in together. And murals with bold colors, like this one, um, put energy into the space. The mural captures the essence of Oak Park in a lively way. It will be viewed by all the people who attend the event hub, which is going to be in the grassy area behind us. Um, please join us for the ribbon cutting countdown and for refreshments after. Thank you. <laughs>